Yo, what is up guys? So for today, I'm bringing you basically kind of the next part to the last video I did about the trailer because that uh, Bungie just updated their website with a bunch of stuff that we can look at, especially the new battle pass. So we're going to look at that and we're going to look at a few other things. So story wise, we already know something's wrong with the timeline. We have to fix it again. Sucks that we couldn't get this in an actual like fully fledged like Taken King or Forsaken size DLC. That would have been super cool, but yeah, we got it in this and hopefully they do it justice, but knowing them, they're not. But whatever. So the Sundial, we have to repair the Sundial, which is this season's activity. And turn back time, journey through time to save a legendary hero. So do we save him? Oh shit, if we save him, that's pretty cool. Because, wait, no, that would change the time. Okay, so one thing about time travel is that like there's a lot of shit that can go wrong that you can change. Like there's a saying that if a butterfly does something different than a tornado happens. I don't remember the, the saying, but the smallest of changes can drastically change the future so with Saint 14 being alive it kind of introduces a whole bunch of stuff like if you guys don't know Saint 14 was actually the vanguard for the titans so yeah like what does that introduce if he is alive it brings a lot of questions because obviously no one likes Zavala and Saint 14 being back would be really cool because he would be the vanguard now but ultimately yeah we'll we'll see uh it would be cool if he becomes like a, a character in, in in the game that we can actually go to instead of just being like hey he exists somewhere so that's cool sundown like i said new six player activity that's match made oh yes oh thank god okay cool so earn new weapons and i'm i'm like I'm gonna do a shot in the dark. It's gonna be four weapons. It's gonna be four weapons. I just have a feeling in my soul that it's gonna be four weapons, and that's it. And I, if I'm if I'm right, oh my god, I'm gonna be super mad. <laughs> so, the Lantern of Osiris, uh, which is this season's artifact, I'm guessing. I'm really I'm really curious as to what this brings. Because it's probably going to be arc related because we didn't see arc in this season. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was arc. Now this is the armor for the, for the battle pass and some exotics as well. So actually did I pass it? No, I didn't. Okay. So this is, this looks, it's not a handgun. This cannot be, look, be a hand cannon. This is too small to be a hand cannon. So I think it's a sidearm. It'd be interesting if it was a sidearm because sidearm is not meta at all. Like, this isn't Destiny 2 vanilla, so them doing a sidearm is very ballsy unless it's really good. Because the only other sidearm I think that we have is like, what, Rat King exotic wise? So, them bringing an exotic sidearm, dog, it better be good. Like, y'all better buff the Mechaneer's trick sleeve so that way it gives me a reason to actually use those worthless pieces of shits. But, yeah that it that entices me that makes me hope this i don't know what the hell this is this could, this could be a fusion rifle this could be maybe i want to say scout but we already have a scout right here so i don't know what this is i i don't know i don't know so here is the sidearm it looks really cool like i'm not gonna give it shit it looks fucking cool unfortunately the the skin that Eververse is gonna get for this is probably gonna make it even a cooler. Same for this one as well. It looks cool already though, so like I'm not even gonna be mad if like the the Eververse ornament looks cooler than this because this already looks dope as fuck. I like how this looks a lot. So this is what everyone's getting for free. I like this a lot. It looks really cool, although I don't like the hunter's armor here. That looks really weird. But it doesn't matter. I'm probably not going to wear that. It looks overall. I like how this looks. It looks really cool. Looks kind of basic, but at the same time, I, I like I like it. It's really weird. So that that's cool. That's free. And these two are for season pass holders only. So here's where we get to the meat of the video, which is what I wanted to look at because I did this last time 
and I want to do it again. So essentially, this is the box that we're going to get all the armor and the exotic uh, scout rifle, which you only get at level 35, if I remember correct. Yeah, 35. So same thing as Ariana's Val. People, are, people with the season pass are going to get this immediately with the armor, which is cool, I guess. But we end up getting something here that's new. This is probably going to be for the event, kind of like how we ended up getting the the Vex parts for the Vex offensive. This is probably most likely the same thing. The, I, this is just a shot in the dark because I don't know any of this really. Like, this is probably going to be a boost to something, another boost to something. This Actually, these two might be a boost to get the... The catalyst for this gun if they're doing that again either this no actually it can't be this it's too this i don't know what this is then i don't know what this might be this for sure is an emblem for sure has to be an emblem this is useless uh okay looking shader i'm really happy that they're giving us the the same 14 headbutt i'm really happy thank you bungie that's awesome i mean it, i'd love more but i mean i'll take what i can get i guess and then for the free players, they end up getting some pretty cool stuff. And then legs and arms. It's pretty cool. I mean, we get a bunch of shit already. But for free, for playing for free, that's pretty cool. This might be a booster for the Catalyst. Either this one or this one. I don't know what this is, though. This is the new season engram. I don't know what the fuck the season engram is going to have. It's most likely going to have stuff from this from this season. And they're just gonna do it like that where the last season you'll get everything or almost everything from the previous season's engrams maybe kind of like that that's what i hypothesized uh on my eververse video that i did so arms cloak legs and then a bunch of stuff here i wish they give us more than one enhancement core i feel like one is just kind of like such a useless thing for me but i guess this, I don't know what this is. It's going to bug me, but I mean, once the DLC is out in like, what, a week, I think? We'll see. This looks really cool. It looks like a ship uh, hologram thing. The thing you like spawn in with. I forget what it's called. Chest piece looks fine. It looks all fine. 150 bright dust, you know, because 150. Damn, guys. Don't spend it all in one place. Helmet looks awesome. Honestly, the, the coolest part about this whole armor is the helmet itself. The helmet looks fucking fantastic in my opinion. Uh, exotic engram. I mean, this all looks very, I mean, sh legendary shards for some fucking reason. Rocket launcher, which in my opinion is like, eh, rocket launchers are kind of garbage. So like, I don't, I don't know why you're giving us rocket launchers, but okay. And then 35, like I said, you end up getting the exotic if you're a free player. This is going to be a lot of fun to use. I'm really excited to use this and to see the the exotic catalyst that it has with it. If it has one, but it most likely does. Or and then another 150. Yo, we're making it rain. Another shader. That's going to be interesting. Red and gold. What is that? That looks like a scout rifle to me. But I could be wrong. That looks like an emo. Another 150 bright dust. Guys, yo, listen. They're making it rain. 40, 450 bright dust? Damn. They're, they're going to go bankrupt with all this. I'm, I'm sorry, but it, just, it, it pisses me off. Uh, so, more stuff. I don't know what this is. It could be a booster of some kind, but I just from, right, from what I know now, I don't know what it could be. More armor. That's cool. That's cool that this is here. I actually don't do like that. I wish we had a little more, but that's cool nonetheless. And yeah, um, okay. Oh, okay. So this is the first part of the actual season pass armor that we're going to get, which, yeah, it's going to be cool. More. I. This is like the third time I see this, so that maybe this is going to be more rare than I thought. Another exotic engram. Oh shit, uh, an Ascendant Shard, I think that's what it's called. And then, that looks gross, but I mean, we have something now, that's cool. And then the last part is the helmet, that looks really cool. 
another emote for 99 which I, I don't care I don't really I'm not really much of an emote guy so for me this is just garbage this being the last one against kind of like whatever's like uh, having an, an ornament for the last part is just like okay cool like I guess it doesn't have that like punch that oomph like I I kind of wish they had given us a little more for for rank 100 for this season because the Ariana Ariana's Val skin was cool it's not bad it's awesome actually but for rank 100 I feel like it should have been something like bigger but that's just me though so that's pretty much it uh yeah I'm we got an exotic ghost in it it's pretty cool I guess overall I'm gonna be real with you guys so this season we had we ended up getting the the vex armor the regular brown vex armor and then we ended up getting like the resplendent armor though and that looks really cool but they're basically just like reskins of each other and it's way more noticeable on the warlock than any other class because the warlock literally only gets like a chit like a little part in its head and then the eye gets like it glows glows red so for me i'm a little disappointed that they did didn't think of anything different it's basically the same thing for this like if you guys see this right here awesome armor and then when you guys go to the other one it's like very similar not i'm not saying it's reskins or anything but it's just similar very similar so yeah i i'm not saying i'm disappointed and that they should have done better but i mean at the end of the day it's a uh, it's a choice they went with and this armor looks awesome I'm not gonna say it does not look awesome it looks fucking amazing but it just feels like I'm evolving this armor to look like this. Also, this is the this is an exotic. Because we saw this is the this is the linear fusion rifle that got data mined. Oh shit. Okay, well I'm I'm excited. I guess it's not a an exotic maybe it's just a legendary i don't know but i we see a hand cannon a grenade launcher and i did see a scout and like something else i don't remember what it oh an assault rifle so those are four weapons already maybe maybe we'll have more weapons hopefully we have more weapons more armor variety because from what i've seen so far we only get what is it this armor set which is in the season pass this armor set, which is probably the Sundial activity, and then the Eververse armor that we haven't seen yet. So, me personally, uh, one armor set for a DLC just doesn't feel meaty enough. But I was remembering that the DLCs like Season of the Forge, Season of the Drifter, Season of the Season of Opulence, they only had technically one armor set as well. But I guess what made it feel more meaty was that there's actual stuff to do in those DLCs, except for Season of the Drifter, that was garbage. But Season of the Forge, we had a lot of weapons to grind for. We had the armor sets to grind for, but we had the armor sets from the raid, the armor set from the from the forge, the weapons really cool. So it was just all around like everything felt meaty, which is why I don't feel like them just having one armor set for that activity felt like a waste because everything else was just there was so much to farm for so yeah i don't i don't know i don't know we'll see because at the end of the day it's not fair to me it's not fair to me just to say like this dlc is gonna be garbage when i haven't played it i haven't seen any much of it so yeah let me know what you guys think what's your what are you guys' opinion about the dlc that's gonna come i'm personally gonna hold off until i start playing a little more and then i'll start judging it but hopefully it's good hopefully i uh really enjoy it because it has saint 14 and has time travel and it has just overall stuff that i hope it, i will like hopefully they have a renewed focus on pvp like they said last se like this the start of this season hopefully they start fixing it a little more hopefully we see more stuff hopefully we just start seeing more like i want more guys like that's all i want so yeah let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think about pretty much the DLC, the trailer, this website. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below, and I will see you guys later.